welcome to my youtube channel seek show the best and clearly explained tutorials are here for you today i came with a new lesson for you which is a very quick video which is about image fusion using arcgis i will use quick bird satellite images in this lesson and okay hope you already have subscribed to my youtube channel if not please click the subscribe button to stick with my channel and hit the bell button to get the latest video updates right okay let's move to the today's lesson right okay i'm going to add my data here hope you know these things and go to my folder quick bird this one i have quick bird satellite images which is a uh, which one is uh, multi band image and what is one is a panchromatic image right and i will add both right so hope you know how to differentiate these two images this one is a, a panchromatic image right and this one is a multi-spectral image and Panchromatic image is from black and white, which has the highest resolution, right? You can see the uh, cell size 0.7 by 0.7, and the multispectral image has 2.8 cell size. So the less number of columns and rows, the so that means the resolution is low. So now image fusion needs to get a high resolution. Uh, image by fusing and combining these two how to combine these two and get a single image with the higher resolution of the panchromatic image so that is uh, right it's a problem uh, you can use this create pan sharp raster dataset tool search in the toolbox right this is where it locate in the raster processing right in the data management tools and go to raster and raster processing you can get the tool create pan sharp raster data set open and get the tool right then what you have to do is first you have to input your raster you can see this is you have to add the low resolution multi band raster data set here right so i'm going to add this one and uh, this is my output folder i will rename it my i will rename it my my output in this name and just uh, paste and write my extension here and click save and panchromatic image this this one you have to add panchromatic image right and then you have to select the pan sharpening method or the type that you want right so here i will select ihs that means uh, the, here's the description you can see try to use this uh, help guidance right in the provided from the uh, gi software uses high intensity hue saturation color space for data fusion so ihs is the very good method the best method so all is set for now just click ok and you will get the output let's see the output in a bit it will take some time for the image fusion right here's the output now you can check with check the output with uh, the initial files right go to properties and check the source 0.7 say size is 0.7 then it has this much number of columns and rows so that means the higher resolution one thing you should remember the output definitely will have the resolution of the higher resolution panchromatic image right this is how to do it you can see the final output how clear it is right and this is panchromatic image and this is a multispectral image so ultimately by combining these two by fusing these two you will get the output as pan, pan sharpened raster 
right okay that's all for today's lesson and uh, hope you like it hope you learn something new please click the like button and share this video with your friends and comment if you have anything to ask and i will be back with a new lesson so till then take care and have a good day